page 159, the aphorism, the aphorism says, 159, Iman, Iman means faith, Iman and the heart have a paradoxical relationship. For one to be firm, the other will have to be soft. Iman and the heart, faith and the heart have a paradoxical relationship. If one is up, the other is down. Meaning, for one to be firm, for Iman to be firm, the heart needs to be soft. For those whose heart is not soft, there's a problem in faith. There's no other way. I don't have time to explain all these things like that. We can talk about them for a long time. Um, let me just say one more, one more thing and then we'll go to from illumination, maybe. Number, page 195, page 195, aphorism 42. Do not believe that people missed out on success, whether in the deen, in religious, spiritual matters, or the dunya. Rather, they actually missed the tawfiq of Allah. People don't miss the success. They've missed the blessings. Tawfiq here is the blessings, the facilitation, the opportunity. If you're with Allah's blessings, anything is beautiful. And if you're without His blessing, then there's no success. People don't miss out on success. People miss out on the opportunity the Creator affords them. All right, one last thing from uh, Living Your Love then. Uh, uh, on page 227, it's okay, let me, let me just take one more minute. On page 227 from Illumination, I put that as a question, because I actually got it as a question. And they said, Sheikh, which kind of music is haram? And my response was, the one made by the noise of spoons hitting the empty plates of the starving. And every voice of batil, that's the definitively haram music, I'll tell you that much. Okay. Page number 243, aphorism number eight. And again, like I said, every one of them, we can actually build on that and you can add your own experiences to it. It's supposed to be a springboard. The universe started with love. وَلِذَلِكَ خَلَقَهُمْ Allah says in the Quran, the universe started with love, was built with love, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And every, and our very existence only continues with love. Take away love from anything and watch it collapse. I don't care if it's a career, I don't care if it's a family, I don't care if it's your religion. You remove love from your faith, you have no faith. You remove love from your career, what you do, you're not going to be good at it. 